Howdy everyone. I just wanted to let you know that I woke up kind of late, so I wasn't able to record the front line defenses the other two girls like I usually do. But otherwise, I was able to record everything else I needed for the video. So, yeah, enjoy. All right, we're going into Mamir Odin Cichlid. We're gonna be using Triana Cha Cha Roid. So for this defense, it's kind of definitely a big RNG swing. You're definitely hoping for Orion to do something. Um, Cichlid's skill three is now random because it's elemental advantage. And then um, Mamir can go pretty crazy if he's able to just constantly proc his skill three and just cycle like crazy. But We'll see. Maybe Cha-Cha can tank it out. Cha-Cha is also 100% res. And I'm running Roy because he's like a tankier unit that can also deal damage. So he can take a hit and also dish a hit, which is pretty nice. And we're running full mana stem from Light because Mir is really the one that would do the most damage. All right, let's get into it. So we're full, uh, we're, we're well on some of our units. A little more trauma and safety. Does that land resisted and we revenge? That's good. Okay, so now we are going to, let's try to control Orion. I feel like if we can control Orion, we would be in a good spot. That's fine. Like we don't really care too much about him hitting our cha-cha because cha-cha can just tank it um let's see can we land a swap okay yeah so we're just gonna keep tunneling this orion and any revenges we get are pretty good all right this orion's halfway resisted again that's good that tells us that this my mirror isn't super high accuracy and neither is that a cichlid Hopefully that's the case. We're just gonna hit there just so we can make the Orion lose a turn. Get revenges. Ooh, big damage from the Triana. This isn't even a damaged Triana. What the? Is this squishy Orion? What's up with that? Okay, we're just gonna hit the Mimir. This one here is really squishy too. Wow, well, all right, we got it. That wasn't, that wasn't too scary. Oh. Yeah, we just tanked it pretty well. All right, we're going to Kumar, Sagar, Praha. We're going to be using Kamun, Rakuni, Malai. So the way this defense works, there really isn't like a heavy damage dealer. There's more of like just a bunch of bruisers that can kind of beat you down over time. But that also means that you can tank them out pretty easily. So for this team, we're going to be tanking out the Kamun and Sagar and Praha pretty well. Um, the Kamun is going to be shooting our Malite, and Malite is just going to be tanking the Kumar and Sagar damage. And should be able to do it pretty well. I think we'll be able to out-destroy them and mitigate a lot with our shielding. Um, I'm running Kamun on Destroy, Raccoon on Destroy. And then I'm trying this new Malite build that's double Destroy. So Destroy sets also, they stack. So... That means that when you're like in a destroy battle where you're racing to destroy as fast as possible, um, you're getting more destroy out of Malite. So we're going to be trying a double destroy build today and see how it goes. All right, let's get into it. Let's see if we can detect what the builds are. Okay, Kumar is on Will. That's good. That probably means there's no destroy. And then Sagar being on destroy would be good for us because we're running mine too much from Wind or Malite. So we're going to go ahead and resurge Malay because there's a good chance that this Sagar is going to try to uh, S3 and reset the cooldown. So we're going to do this because when uh, Malay does get hit, it'll reduce the cooldown. So that'll help us. So we're just going to go straight for Kumar for now. Um, the reason is because he's kind of annoying with his cleansing and the his S2 heals based on his 
max HP, so it's pretty massive. So uh, I want to make that healing weaker. Okay, and we're just going to keep hitting Kamun. Or um, Kumar, sorry. There's two fire monsters with the letter K. And then we're just going to keep using S2 and keep provoking, stalling them out. Um, I'm actually going to do this to Psycho Raccoonie. And Okay, yeah, he has a lot of cleansing, so that's why I just want to get rid of him. And this Sator isn't using S3, he's just holding skills. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem too high res, uh, too uh, much ack either. He's not really landing anything. Yeah, just gonna keep hitting this Kamoon. Okay, the heal does go out, that's fine. Okay, we are, we're just gonna S1 Kumar, S1 Kumar. Okay, he's not using S3, that's, that's silly. Oh, okay, so we did get silence, but that's okay. Can we stun? Okay, we didn't stun. But that's okay, that means that, uh, Malite's actually get, get at a stack of defense, because the S1 gives you more defense every time you use it up to five times. So, yeah, this... I guess we're provoking him, so I guess he can't really use his skills. That's funny. Okay, just gonna keep it in the Kumar. Yeah, we're stalling him out so well. Yeah, I run plus damage on fire for my Kamoon as well, because I, uh, want this Kumar to go down fast. Let's keep cycling. Can we kill? Wow, we killed. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I... This this feels really good versus his defense. Um, yeah, anytime you can bring in, whenever there's like a water threat or another element, and then there's a a fire and wind unit that can just tunnel into your malite, that's usually a good call to just use Kamun Rikuni Malite, and we did really well with this offense, so should be a win. All right, once again, we're going to Kumar, Praha, Sagar, or M. Bison. We're going to be using Kamun Rakuni Malite. So we're going to be tanking this out with our Malite, and then Kamun Rakuni Sustain is just crazy. And we're going to be going for the Kumar first. And everyone on my team is Destroy, even Rakuni. And I'm running two sets of Destroy on Malite, that way I can destroy the HP faster. Because uh, their damage is... HP based, so destroying their HP also reduces their damage dealt. Also reduces the healing they receive because percentage based heals are based on the their max health. And yep, here's the two times destroy, one times will malite. And if we move first, we're gonna research malite so he can start in stone form. All right, let's get into it. So we do move first, we're gonna research Malite. That way that if the Sagar or M. Bison uses S3 and resets, then um, he'll just, the cooldown will be reduced. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep provoking forever. All right, that's fine. And then provoke again. All three landed, nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just research coming for damage, honestly. This is just gonna enable us to speed up the battle. That's fine. Oh, look, and the heal block. Oh, that heal block. Um, can we stun the bison? No stun. Okay, he does S3. That's fine. Can we kill? Nice, we killed. Okay, it should be a win from here, really. I, honestly, this defense just gets destroyed by Kumun Rikuni Malite, so we're just, uh, we're tearing into him right now, so yeah, it should be a win from here. All right, we're going into Martina, Shanna, Triana. We're going to be using Sabrina, Talia, Falaria. So, Flavor is going to be tanking for us. She's on the two times then, one times will build. Uh, we don't know the build of the defense, so we got to be careful. Um, I have my Falaria set up to where if it did end up being spooky, high damage, then hopefully she can tank it out. And uh, this Talia is a little bit different because I mentioned a while back I give her a bill that doesn't steal from defenses so uh hopefully she does well and uh when you're using Falaria um with the twins talia is usually the one that'll take the most damage because she uh gets an additional turn with her attack buff because you have her moving for sabrina and she'll be without a shield whenever you do go in for the initial uh first damage cycle so that is something to keep in mind i do wish i had a better at mighty zone from x artifact for the Falaria though all right let's get into it 
Hopefully things uh, don't go too bad. Let's see, can we detect the build? Shield and will. Okay. Uh, could be Nem. We're not sure. Uh, we're going to go for the Shayna first. She already used S2, so there's no risk of her doing that spooky stuff right now. Ooh, we're already procking. Sheesh. Hope we can kill. Let's see. Can we kill her? All right. We do kill, thankfully. All right. That was a little bit spooky. I thought something was going to go wrong because she was... She, look, look at her zooming. She's just zooming. That's what I mean. It's like, you never know what this defense is going to give you. Like, I mean, look at that. Crazy. All right. But it should be a win from here. Yeah, we dealt with it pretty well. All right. We're going to Mimir Orion Cichlid. We're going to be using Triana Chacharoid. So I feel like we have a lot of mitigation with this team. Triana with her defense lead. Um, she's 100 res, tanky. She probably has a cleanse immunity. And uh, then we got Cha-Cha to be tanking the Mimir damage, who I feel like is the main damage dealer. Um, the other two feel more like enablers. So assuming all goes well, we should be able to just chip away at them because their sustain isn't that high. And uh, we should be able to tank it out pretty well. Um... Roy is on a 286B tick build, Will for extra turn one safety. And uh, when I first did this, I went for Orion first, which feels okay because he feels like he's an enabler. So it may not be that bad since you have Cha Cha tanking. So maybe we'll do that again. All right, let's get into it. Let's see if we can tank it out. So, and remember, Cichlid S3 is random now because of, uh, yep, it's random. There he goes. Okay, so it didn't defense break. Ooh, they're zooming. Yeah, it didn't defense break, but it did reset the cooldown. Okay, we're gonna hit the Orion. And let's go ahead and re swap with the Mimir, who is their main damage. All right, great. That's fine. We're probably gonna cleanse that here in a sec. Let's just go straight for the Mimir. Oh my gosh, okay, I was right. That dude is squishy. We're just gonna heal for now. Just, we're not gonna get greedy. I mean, we're so tanky. Look at that. He's dead. My Cha-Cha killed him. Cha-Cha just took his attack and said, Look at me, I'm the damage dealer now. Haha, -ha. okay. Well, there's like no damage on the team, so uh, yeah, we kind of just won. That's it. Uh, it's a win from here. All right, once again, we're going to Kamun, Praha, Sega, or M. Bison. We're going to be using Kamun, Rakuni, Malite. So, same deal here. We're going to be going straight for the Kumar, and Malite should tank everything with the help from Kamun and Rakuni sustain. I do recommend running destroy on all your units the way you're uh, maximizing your destroy potential because with uh, the HP ceiling on this defense, again, destroying the HP reduces their healing received and their damage dealt. And because of that, I'm running two sets of destroy on Mali since they stack. Mass down from wind because we're going to go for Kumar first. All right, let's get into it. We detect the builds. Okay, everything is off will. So we're gonna go ahead and research Malay on first turn. Good provokes. Okay, right, let's hit the Kumar. All right, that's good. So then we cycle in some more provokes. Very nice. You know, that revenge damage is also gonna hurt them pretty well. Okay, so he got clean, so he's probably gonna move here. Okay, he does an S3, S2s, okay. Ooh, and our Rakuni got stunned but that's okay we're gonna research a malite here because i want to be able to put up the provoke again as long as this is up we get damage reduction and we, we control them with provokes because provoking stalls out the defense's turns super nice more provokes okay see is this sagar or m bison hasn't used his s3 yet so we're just in such good shape okay we're, just, we're gonna keep hitting kumara i know that sagar or i'm just gonna call him sagar i know that sagar is pretty low but uh we're just gonna keep hitting this Kumar. All right, he finally uses S. Okay, he finally uses S three, but he doesn't land it. He must not be high ack. Yeah. Okay. So did we just provoke again? I wonder. We could probably just straight up kill this Sagar. Actually, <laughs> he got so low. Yeah, he just got so low that. Okay. Yeah, this this offense is pretty good versus defense, but yeah, it should be one from here. All right, once again, going into Mimir, 
Orion Cichlid. We're going to be using Triana Cha Cha Roid. So, if the other two times worked pretty well, I guess we'll run it back again. You know, we just have a lot of mitigation with uh, Triana and Cha Cha. And once we survive turn one, we have a pretty nice turn two. We can swap attack with the Mimir. And then the Mimir, whenever he uses S3, this is with all the. Uh, the uh, barbaric kings um they, they get less max hp so they actually get squishier so i'm thinking it might be good just to go straight for the mirror and he just drops super quickly so we'll see what happens here because if he's high damage he should drop really quickly if he's tanky he wouldn't really do that much damage anyway so i'll probably try to go for him first and there's really not a lot of sustain on this defense so it's just run a wheel for more turn one safety all right let's get into it Hopefully Orion doesn't mess us up too much. Alright. Goes out. Stuns our Roid. That's okay. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, we're gonna can we sleep the Orion? No sleep. Okay, let's try to swap with the Mimir. The Mimir. Alright, good swap. I was gonna reduce a lot of damage you take. Alright, does that land? Resisted. Man, yeah, the, all the um Mimir defense we've hit, they just don't have a lot of accuracy. Okay. Okay, Roy gets defense broken. Um, we're just gonna hit Mimir. I don't think we need to cleanse Roy. Yeah, we're just gonna put a shield on Roy. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna hit Mimir once more. Okay, should yep, he's dead, and that's it. We win. That's that's pretty much it. That's not. Uh, as unfortunately, I mean, this the way this defense is supposed to work is supposed to be a threat to turn one, but unfortunately, turn two is just really strong versus defense. So, uh, yeah, it should be a win from here. All right, once again, we're going into Mimir, Odin Cichlid. We're going to be using Triana Cha Cha Roid. So, this has been working out pretty well. This is my fourth Roid, last Roid I have. Maybe I need to make more, who knows? Um, so, yeah, we're going to run it back once more. It's been doing pretty well. Um, we noticed that the Mimir haven't been super high accuracy. We've been they're resisting pretty well with 100 res. So I definitely like the 100 res here. So we're going to give it a shot here once more. And again, we're running the 286 Roy with Final Will. More turn one safety. All right, let's get into it. Can we detect what their builds are? Okay, okay, Cha Cha gets stunned. Roid gets reset. We'll cool down time down. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to cleanse Roid. This is pretty high damage. Ooh, he's zooming. Uh oh. Okay, well, we have to do this, I believe. Okay, good revenge. So let's hit Mimir. This Mimir seems like he's really high damage. He also went on defense break, but still, we're just gonna go straight for the Mimir. Can we sleep? Reduce, reduce attack bar. Cleansed. Okay. Um, let's. Can we swap the attack? Good attack swap. All right, once more, set attack bar back. Perfect. Damage, sleep. The absorb attack bar is really good. Oh, but he gets boosted up. Okay. Ooh, that is a zoom in Mimir. Ooh, he actually landed it too. Ooh, he is moving a lot. He's almost down though, but it's not over yet. Ooh, yeah, they are just moving a lot. It's, we're reducing attack bars but they're just getting so much more value out of their um skills so let's see this mimir is gonna go on cha-cha who is stunned well cha-cha might move out of some well, let's well, let's do this on roy we need to keep roy alive okay and also cha-cha is the one who's tanking so i think cha-cha will survive it better Ooh, i'm telling you they're just zooming i've never oh my goodness I've never had them move this much. Yeah, and I think I think Cha Cha's dead. Yeah, I think Cha Cha's gonna die. Uh, can we sleep or absorb proc? Okay, can we kill them a mirror at least? We didn't kill them a mirror. Wow. Okay, we kill him here though, right? Okay. All right, it's not over yet, but wow, I cannot believe uh, how much value this defense was getting from those procs. Wow, it's not over yet though. We're not gonna call it yet. We need to go for this cichlid. Um, I'm worried about this cichlid just tearing us up. Can we? Let's push back the Orion as well. Okay, she does shield herself, but they don't have healing, so keep that in mind. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and um, we're just going to do this for now. Yeah, I feel like I should be healing, but I'm going to hold it. Okay, that's fine. The, the sleeps, we're just going to leave them slept because they don't have sustain. So we're just going to try to outcycle them and damage them out. Um, yeah, let's hit Cichlid. We're going to abuse Roy's attack bar reduction here. Um, let's go ahead and heal now. Let's just do it now. Okay. A little protection in case they run. Okay, can we kill the Cichlid? Perfect. Whew. Okay, that I have that defense is just proc like crazy. It's, oh, man. Spooky. All right, we're going to Sierra, Elsharian, Nora. We're going to be using Juno, Lala, Grego. So I recently pulled Grego... Um, I think f last week, so I want to give him a shot here and see how he'll do. Um, obviously the biggest threat here is just getting out damaged. Um, I feel like we have enough sustain. Um, we're going to be going for Juno first. And even though Grego does receive less sustain, I do f I feel like we should have enough. And then Juno just kind of feeds off of the Nora. Since most of the damage is going to be going on Grego, I'm opting for her plus damage on a win for my Lala. So, uh, hopefully things go well, and, um, yeah, I wish I had a ma enough skill ups to max my Grego, but otherwise, we should be fine. We're gonna get dual minus damage from X Artifact. Hopefully it holds up. And again, if you're not aware how his passive works, oops, here you go. Decreases the inflicted damage on you and the recovery amount by 50%. So that means you receive less, he less healing, but you also take a lot less damage. And then the attack power increases when the enemy your ally dies. So, yeah. See how things go. All right, let's get into it. Let's uh, give Grego a shot. We're going to be going for Sierra first. Because Sierra deals the most damage um, in our case here. Okay, healing goes out. Yep, all the... Okay, good res. That's really good for us. Ooh, nice revenge as well. Ooh, nice. Can we... Um, yeah, let's try to defense break. Mm, no defense break. Um, let's cleanse that. It's going to hit Sierra. I'm just going to keep hitting Sierra. Slow. Okay, nice. And can we hit Sierra? I'm just going to hit Sierra again. Okay. Nice counter. Those counters are pretty nice. Ooh, okay. Ooh, wow. We just assisted the bomb. Nice. Uh, yeah, just going to cleanse it again. Okay. We almost have Sierra down. I wish she would go down sooner, though. She's almost dead. I love the revenges. I really like those revenges. Free damage, the slow. Look at the slows. I love when you land slow. It's almost like a stun because it just stall out their turns. Does Grego move here? It's a violent Nora, by the way. Okay, let's do S2 stun or kill. Stun, nice. Um, let's go ahead and do this for healing. I want, I want my Grego to be healthy. Perfect. And of course, Nana or Lala is a sniper and just takes him out. So now we just go for Elsharian here. And Grego is just tanking this so well. He, surprisingly, he's not on a high res build yet. He resisted a lot of things from that Sierra. Maybe he is high res and I forgot, but I don't think he is. But yeah, look at that. He's just taking no damage from that little Sharian. And since since Lala's sustain is so high, even though Grego receives less healing, he's still receiving a lot of healing. So in this case, Grego's getting like 6.3k per um, a turn from the Lala. Yeah, I think something that Grego brings pretty well, other than his damage reduction, is that he brings slow, which reduces the turns that the defense takes, which is like damage reduction. Um, stun, which is like damage reduction, and then usually a lot, every almost every dark tank has a defense break, so he supports the team pretty well. All right, we're going to Dominic Wusa Rakan. We're going to be using Kamun Rakuni Malai, so yeah, we've been using offense a lot, but I'm specifically pretty good against this defense just because. Um, Malai mitigates a lot with Kamun Shield and Rakuni Sustain. Um, there's no defense break on this defense, so it's not as scary. And, um, yeah, everyone should have Destroying Your Team, even Rakuni. And then, you can sometimes get provoked by Rakan and hit him, so you do want some minus damage from Fire on your Kamun and Rakuni. Uh, Malai is mostly going to be taking damage from the... Dominic, so you want to run minus damage from wind and a high HP uh, type build. Um, this is my unskilled Malite, so I'm kind of worried about who he'll do, but there's no Oblivion, so there's a good chance he might be fine, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, let's get into it. 
And my chameleon's high damage enough, I think we'll be fine. Okay, so it opens up. Okay, interesting. It doesn't use his S3. So that means we're good to just go ahead and resurge Malay. And then go ahead and start getting his mitigation going. Alright, there we go. And then we're just going to tunnel the Dominic from here. Maybe, w maybe we can prevent this Wusa from using his S3. Let's see, we did get provoked, unfortunately. But yeah, that shield is just mitigating all that damage. Okay, so he, oh, no, he didn't use it. Okay, uh, yeah, we're just gonna S1. Just gonna hit the Dominic, just gonna hit the Dominic. Provoke. Okay, and from this point, it's pretty much a win.